Hey guys, and welcome again to the Money Game with AC. So I want to make this quick one. You know, so as the economy, as the U.S. economy reopened, as you know, um, more and more authorities, more and more governments, especially New York, which was one of the toughest in terms of restrictions, uh, allowing people to get out again to go to movie theaters. You know, and as we are seeing more and more vaccines coming out, you know, we are expecting a U.S. recovery. And in this video, I want to cover the five best stocks according to my opinion. And I think this is also maybe a really good bargain for you guys, especially given the market sell-off we had last week or oh, this coming week because today is Sunday. All right, guys, let's get into it. So the first one, it's Calon Petroleum. So Calon Petroleum is a Houston-based uh, small company and they produce um, oil and also, you know, gas. Now, the current uh, stock price is around 25, 24 something. But, you know, a um, couple of months ago, it was trading at $10 and in early march when i bought it it was trading at three dollars and i bought it at 450 so i'm up huge 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 i think around 500 percent you know only in this specific stock so the fact that you know this company is interesting is because first of all it's a well-managed company the fact that they were really really beaten down from 50 dollars you know at which it was trading in january 2020 it went all the way down to $3 because in December 2020, they just dispensed $1.3, $1.6 billion to buy another company named Carrizo Oil. So the fact that they bought a, a company, you know, um, and, and that made them to spend more than $1 billion. And at the same time, the pandemic hit, you know, as much and as a lot of, a lot of oil uh, companies were also Pretty, you know, beaten down by the pandemic. The fact that they had a huge debt on the balance sheet, meaning they owe a lot of money on the short term and on the long term, you know, they were really beating down. But over the course of the last nine months, they were able to manage to sell some of the assets. So in order to generate additional money, and with the oil prices going up and up, you know, they were able to give to to, to give a really interesting um, um, Q4 results. Uh, that was two days ago where they beat the earnings um, expectations of the market, you know, so if the sell off, um, if it wasn't for the market sell off, they'll probably be trading now around 30, uh, $30 dollars um, easily. So this is a company I invested 20,000 back in March. And right now, you know, I'm making almost 500% gains only on this stock. So I think it's a very interesting one because if we look at where the price is trading before the pandemic, right now you are easily looking at 100%. So doubling your money. Another one I have guys, it's Devon Energy. Devon Energy is another small not small, medium company that also produces oil and natural gas. Now they are currently trading around um, 21 something, but they also um, released very interesting Q4 results for um, 2020 and the guidance for 2021, meaning the focus on which 2021 will be because oil companies are seeing the stock price jumping week after week just because you know the two main benchmarks meaning the two main indicators of prices of oil and gas are also going up so you have the west texas and you have the brand the brand is trading in the uk in london and then you, the yt texas is trading here in the us so whenever you want to have an indication of where the oil prices is trading around the world during um i mean on, on stock exchange markets these are the prices you're going to look at. So as more, more and more those prices are going up, you know, with the correlation, those stock prices are also going up. So I think it's very interesting um, um, company to invest in now because they have seen the price target raised by uh, research and other professional firms uh, from $20 to $30. So we are looking at a $10 upside per share, you know, and this is huge because by summertime, a lot of people will be traveling, a lot of people will be vaccinated, a lot of people will be, you know, immune, immu is it immunized or anyway, a lot of people will be prevented from catching COVID. So they will be allowed to travel again. And all of those activities, all of those recovery spending will be definitely uh, all will be benefiting of that. And that's why prices will continue to go up. And as well as, you know, uh, stock prices of companies producing and distributing Oil. So Devon Energy is another one I have. I currently own, uh, I think, around one uh, 1,500 shares in this company alone. 
Another one I have on my list for you guys is VET, ticker symbol VET, the name of the company is Vermilion Energy. So this company not only produces oil and gas, but they distribute it around the world. So they're not only based in the US or in Canada, even though their headquarters in Calgary, you know, Canada, they also uh, involve with operations all around, you know, France, Ireland, Amsterdam, Nether uh, yeah, Netherlands, because Amsterdam is the capital of Netherlands, <laughs> and uh, the US and Canada, of course. So right now, the trading price is currently at $6 or $6.30 or $6.26, you know, around that price range. But if you look at where it was trading before the pandemic hit, it was around $16. So we're looking at $10 a share as well. But the fact that this company is, I mean, the stock price is so cheap now, you know, they, it's also a, a, a very interesting upside that you can potentially be sitting on as we go into the summer and the end of the year with this US recovery. So this is also a company this, which is really well managed. They were able to reduce increasingly from the recent months the debt that they have on the balance sheet, so the money they owe in order to produce more cash flow and to be more profitable for investors. Reason why the stock price is also continuing rising. At least it's not oil and gas guys, I promise you, it's American Airlines. So American Airlines, you know, one of the biggest airlines companies in the US. We have that we are also on the US recovery. And if you look at the amount of people traveling each month, it's now averaging 1 million passengers. So this is huge because we didn't have that in the past month. So with spring break coming, with you know summer coming, um, more people are already booking vacations for summertime, you know, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. So with the whole vaccines, you know, more and more vaccines and more and more um, warmer temperatures, I think we will really be at a better place where we stand now with COVID. So a lot of people will be able to travel again. That will transpire or translate into the stock price of American Airlines and others as well going up. So that's it. But why not? Um, the other airlines, one American Airlines, just because it's the cheapest one among the US. If you look at Delta, if you look at Southwest, if you look at um, 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 United, they are trading way um, around um, 40 or 45 in average. So American Airlines is really the one which is still cheap at this point. And if you look at where it was trading pre-pandemic, I think it was at least double the price it's trading right now. So $40 or $45 as well, even higher. So this is also a real, at least easy 100% gain you can make on your money if you invest now. And finally, the one I have on my list that I currently own and that I will keep adding as we go, it's Carnival Cruise Line. Again, Carnival Cruise Line is one of the recreation stock, meaning this is a, this is a company, this is the, uh, this company that provide services and cruise voyage. You know, like when people go on ships in order to, you know, visit our islands around the world, you know, they go on cruise ship and Carnival is one of the biggest, if not the biggest cruise operator in the US. So they are currently, they are also a very well managed company. The last earnings, they said they have at least two, one billion dollars in cash, you know, in order to sustain through 2021, meaning to pay the bills, to pay the, the, the employee salaries, you know, to keep the company afloat until they were able to see people booking, you know, um, travels again, booking trips, booking voyage again, and in order to, you know, increase the revenue. But it's also a solid company and it's really trading at a discount price now. You can see on the chart that when we had, you know, US stimulus stocks getting an hour and hour between the House and the Senate, more and more vaccines, especially Johnson & Johnson being announced, the stock was trading around 18. And then once we had that, you know, um, um, more and more positive news around the COVID numbers, the price skyrocketed from, you know, the, the low 18 to now um, at a point he did, he did hit 28 in just two weeks time. So that's huge. So again, this is a potential company. And again, part of, you know, the whole people getting out, getting a sense of normalcy to their life again, traveling around the world on cruise on airlines. So this is the reason why I think Carnival Cruise Line is one of the best discount you can have or best deal you can have now. The other, you know, cruise line like Royal Caribbean Line or Norwegian are also very good, but they are trading higher than Carnival is. So if you want to have a lot of dollar for your buck, is it buck for your dollar or dollar for a buck? Anyway, and you want to have more volume, you know, on your position, then you want to get the cheapest one. So as you can imagine, as you can realize, 
all of these sectors, the most, so three on, the, on, on, on my five list are in the oil and gas, oil and gas um, or energy sector. I'm, I'm really heavily invested in energy sector because, you know, again, as the economy reopens, as more and more people will be able to, you know, do whatever they want to do, like traveling, whether it's by air, whether it's by ship, whether it's by car, all of those needs fuel. So the demand will be increasing and, you know, the people will drive the prices of oil upper and this will translate into higher prices for the stocks in the oil and gas sector. Not only that, the fact that a lot of people will continue to tra will, will, will travel more during you know spring break and summertime, airplanes and cruise ships will use oil. So again, making the prices skyrocket um, as I mentioned earlier. So, but they are part also of what we call the rotation, meaning people are not considering that, oh, as the economy is reopening, as you know, we are spending more money and people are, will receive stimulus checks, you know, they will spend those money into things they weren't able to do in 2020. And these are the things that people would do. Reason why I think these are the stocks that I'm owning and I think it's a really good tip for, deal for you guys if you're looking for stocks to buy in order to, you know, bet on the US recovery.